Good morning YouTube. This is Cruise Man and I'm just getting ready to leave Einstein's. I'm not sure if you can see the sign in the camera. Um, this is uh, my second time riding with this brake free helmet light. You can see it on the back of my helmet here. And um, I really like it. I think it delivers some safety, but I am going to show you a couple things that I think could be improved in the future when they come out with version 2. Um, first of all, once I've put my helmet on, if I'm trying to turn the unit on, I can, I can do that. I can turn it on. But this button has three functions. It changes the light mode. It turns it on, and then you press it again to change the mode. And then you press it long time. Uh, a long press will turn it off. The problem is now I can't tell if I turned it on or not. I can't. It doesn't really give you any feedback to let you know. There's not a beep or an audible sound or anything to let you know the unit is on. So basically what I do is I end up taking the helmet off to make sure I've got the light turned on. The other thing is you want to... I found it difficult to take the this brake free off of the helmet and put it back on with my helmet on. The way the clamp works, it's just it's real clumsy to feel when it's on. And I think I mentioned in my review video, uh, but I do like the light. And I'm actually going to take my helmet off right now just to make sure. I wonder if I can see. It's not a big problem. Um, I just, you know, I'm going to get in the habit of basically before I put my helmet on, I'll turn the light on. I don't think that's a big negative. The f you could probably figure out a way to turn it on with the helmet on, but I'm just not comfortable. I, I really can't. There's no way for me to tell this. I had a little mirror with me. I could see it somehow, but I, I can't. I'm drying off my seat because it's a really, really humid morning and there's a lot of uh, moisture on my seat. So I always keep a microfiber in my trunk for that purpose just to dry off the seat. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, um, basically I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you're passionate about motorcycles, I think you'll find some value into this channel. And uh, last, or just a few days ago, I was gonna say last week, but just a few days ago, I posted a review of this brake-free helmet light and kind of showed how I installed it on my helmet which took about twice as long for me to do it as it should have. Hopefully if you watch my video, you'll see the stupid mistakes I made and you won't make the same mistakes. But no matter what kind of motorcycle you ride, you can use this brake free on your helmet. Or if you ride a Can-Am Spider, uh, ATV, it really doesn't matter what you ride. It's a, it's a safety product. And some of you posted comments on the video that you have this product and you've been very happy. I, in fact, I haven't had anybody post a comment that owns this helmet light that doesn't like it. They all seem to be very, very uh, pleased with it and feel like it really does uh, improve their safety. And you know me, I'm always about safety. Now. Bef you know, a while back, I mentioned this in my last video, a while back, 
I reviewed another helmet brake light and that particular product also had turn signals. This product has a deceleration. I'm going to call it a decelerometer. I don't know what they call it, but it is uh, some technology. It's a, a chip that can detect when your motorcycle is slowing down, even if you do engine braking. In fact, uh, yesterday, Don and I met for breakfast and he shot some video of me. I was I just had the helmet on and I was walking. And as soon as I stopped walking, the, the light flashed, the uh, brake light flashed. So it's ultra sensitive to motion. And as soon as you start to slow down, that uh, br those brighter LEDs come on. So it's an impressive technology. And I started to tell you about the previous light I reviewed. And it required that you install this uh, module under the seat or into your electrical system. And if I remember correctly, it tied into your turn signals and your brake light. And it it uh, it was just uh, added a layer of complexity. And then it it had the ability to communicate wirelessly to the uh, the brake light on your helmet. Now this light does not have turn signals, but you know what, I'm okay with that. I, I think the main function that you really want in a product like this is to let people behind you know when you're coming to a stop, not when you're getting ready to make a turn. You know, I have a lot of other turn signals on the bike. I don't really need it for that. So, the only other uh, oh, and by the way, I mentioned to you when I installed it on my helmet that it kind of it kind of uh, has some slop in it. it. It wobbles a little bit, or it has a little bit of a. In other words, it doesn't fit real tightly onto that mount. Uh, that is not a problem. I, I do not feel it moving back there. It's not like it uh, is back there rattling around or anything like that. So that's a good thing. And the uh, brake light is light enough to where you don't really even know you have it on the helmet. So it's not like it's, it's adding a ton of weight to the helmet to make it uncomfortable. The other thing that I found was a positive for me personally, just because I ride a 2018 Goldwing, one of my concerns was going to be that I was going to have to take it off of the helmet when I put my helmet in the trunk. I was afraid it wouldn't fit, but that's not a problem. I always lay my helmet on its side to get it to fit, and then I, what I have to do is I have to take off the uh, either the Cardo or the Cena headset to get my trunk to close. <laughs> I know some of you say you can get your trunks to close, but my helmet, it doesn't fit. So, I didn't want to have to take off my Bluetooth headset and have to take off the uh, brake light, and I don't have to. It can, it can remain on, it doesn't get in the way, and it, it, it is, it's fine. So, my initial, um, I guess my initial impression so far, ha after having used it, this is my second ride that I've done, or actually third, I guess, with the, the uh, brake light, is that uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. I think it's, uh, it's a good product. Now, some of you did put comments in on the uh, other video I did, the review video, and you said you felt like it was just too expensive. And even, it is 169 bucks, I believe, $169. It's almost half the price of the other light I reviewed. I think that thing was $300. So, I don't know. You know, it is, what is, what is your safety worth to you? You know, if you have a product that even has a chance of preventing you from getting rear-ended on your motorcycle, 
is $170 really too much to spend on that? Man, I don't think it is. I just think it's a. I think it's probably worth the price. Now I know that they're back ordered right now. Supply chain issues, I'm sure, is is what's happening. So, if you want one of these, I'm not sure if they're even taking orders right now. You, I don't know what the story is. But anyway, put your comments down below. Um, again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click that little bell icon if you want YouTube to notify you when I come out with new videos. And I've got a couple of new videos coming up here in the next few days. One more is a product review. And don't forget to click the like button if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for um, joining me today. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.